Yo, 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 welcome to the channel everybody, this is Dan DeFi, welcome back, it's been a minute. Um, we're going to just get right into the video, I mean, there's a, there's a little bit of updates, it's, uh, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> it's been a while out here, it's just wild out here in the internet land. Alright, so let's just jump into it guys. So first of all, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin's, uh, uh, who knows at this point does anybody really know no one fucking knows right Alex Becker you don't know right no one knows so I'm just saying bro it, it it's like we we all think it's gonna just parabolic go parabolic one of these days like and then it just plays with our minds it plays with our freaking minds and souls Anyway, so we're gonna keep rolling on the uh, train here of Terra Luna. I'm still pissed. I'm still pissed at you. Uh, I, I'm starting to think the project's gonna be good. I've been reading more information, but uh, yeah, still pissed at Terra Luna for losing our USD. Looking back at the video about that, guys, it was it was wild. It was a wild time. Um, we lost like seventy-five dollars in USD from Terra Bridge. So, still, guys, hey, it's still, yo, you know who you are. Fix my transaction, please. Um, but we're going we're gonna to keep going. Um, so, Polygon Matic, guys. Polygon Matic's doing some stuff. There's some stuff happening on the network. I don't know, guys. I, I kind of think that it's, uh, you know, it's going to go up pretty soon. Um... But let's just fast forward, guys. You know all the coins. We've talked about all the coins. We're past that, right? We're past the coins. Okay? We're only going to talk about the one coin we're actually interested in. Hydera. Now, what the H is going on, bro? We're, we're Look at our... I mean, we're getting cheap, guys. We're getting cheap. And uh, I, I think, guys, this is just adjustment. I think uh, this is just adjustment for the coin. I think that the... Ecosystem is just expanding. Um, things are happening. And uh, I, I think uh, pretty soon things are about to go ballistic. So, um, like I said, guys, for this, as you know, if you've been following this channel, for me, uh, a true H Barbarian, uh, I, I, uh, I've never been about the coin price. I don't think it's about the coin price. And I'm going to say that on this channel until... I, I don't know when but for me it's definitely about the technology factor and what Hadera is capable of guys um, so yeah that's that's uh, speaking of that let's just get into the right the next thing I want to talk about this article in payments journal um, I don't know if you guys know who this guy is right here but Sushio is the CEO and chairman of drop right drop is the app that's built on Hadera for micro payments so I don't know if you guys saw this article, but this article is about money in the metaverse and uh, and basically the potential between creator and publisher. And basically, um, if you kind of want to create a decentralized version of this, because even like creating an app within its own economy within crypto is kind of like centralizing the again. Um, basically, you just get uh, an app like currently like Stripe or Square. Um, and then for crypto and then uh, you can do micro payments. So basically instead of buying all You know instead of subscribing to Comcast and getting one cable package with all these channels um, that you're not going to use um, <clears throat> And you only get it for the channels that you really want which are like five or ten channels um, You could subscribe to each channel uh, Specifically by itself so it wouldn't have to be like a package that's kind of what Drop enables. It enables uh, digital payments, basically micro payments of uh, digital goods and services, trials, all that good stuff. There's a lot of stuff I think it could be applied to, guys, but I think that's the word, way that they're going with it. Uh, but yeah, this article is pretty interesting. If you read through, uh, it talks about Bob Ledger announces new roles, director, investor, metaverse groups, genies. Uh, it's just talking about our acceleration into this world of or this word metaverse guys we don't even know what the hell 
metaverse means yet, right? People are just guessing at this point. It's like metaverse question mark, you know? Um, so Mike, it talks about micro payments. We've talked about that. The average consumer is likely how to use crypto payments. Uh, so yeah, if you think about in the metaverse, uh, things could be micro payments. Um, yeah, that, that seems like a good use of this technology. Um, I'm tapped metaverse capabilities uh, as a as a wide ver so this just talks about um, wh like w what they think um, like what they think engagement's going to be uh, blah 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 so it basically is a really good article guys you can check it out I tried to summarize I mean I tried to just talk about the basics of it but you really got to get into the meat and potatoes of like us understanding like uh, the decentralized economy compared to like a metaverse centralized economy and think about the differences and uh, yeah check out this article payments journal um, money in the metaverse pretty good stuff um, I think drops gonna be a pretty good project I've been following them uh, for a while so yeah love you drop so next thing I want to talk about is dead pixels guys I don't know if you guys saw this but this was like a really really hot uh, NFT project on Pandero. Uh, they sold out say, for the first drop sold out in 65 seconds. Um, so yeah, they're on Zeus, I guess, already on the secondary market. Um, so yeah, we're gonna just, I mean, I'll just go over to Zeus. Uh, so here's the Dead Pixels Club look. Some of these babies are worth a good amount of Hedera. Um, pretty interesting stuff so yeah uh looks like i might be grabbing one of these ghosts tonight i don't know i haven't thought about it yet but uh yeah i just wanted to hit this project guys this was a huge one i i've been seeing i've been seeing uh the ghosts i didn't know they sold out that fast um uh, congrats to the team for that that's freaking awesome uh, but yeah guys they were uh dead pixels was pretty uh pretty pretty big and uh for a Hedera NFT project. I was pretty enthused. So congrats to the team, that's awesome. Looks like I'm gonna have to grab one of these suckers. Um, another thing I wanna talk about is, yeah, so Nike's NFT sneakers. Uh, so they're on OpenSea. Uh, obviously they're using ETH, I don't know why, but um, we're not gonna talk about that. But they have like some skins that I guess sold for a lot. Uh, looks like this one, the skin vial. Evo Alien. Average price, 150. Okay. So. Allows you equip and change Nike Dungeon. Genesis crypto kicks are going to the trades of the vial. Okay, interesting. So they got like vials on here. Um, one pair. Here's another. Oh, so here's a pair. There's like three. There's like a couple of ETH, right? So, interesting, man. My, Nike's really get into this, guys. There's a lot. Nike's building a, a lot of stuff. Um, and this is just one example, guys, of, uh, you know, uh, Nike partnered with this company. It looks like RTF, RTFKT Studio. So, congratulations on that. Uh, like I said, Metaverse is accelerating. We all knew this was going to happen, guys. Um, it's just we really want this decentralization to kind of happen. Um, it looks like uh, if you type in metaverse, I just I like to search the term and just kind of see. So Zux is really just betting still on this hardware shit, and uh, it looks like the <laughs> the Snapchat CEO came out and he was like, "Well, uh, uh, it's gonna be based in AR." So who really knows? Um, no, I don't think anyone really knows at this time. I think they're still building and trying to see what works and what doesn't. It's gonna be kind of like uh, we're gonna be like you know like uh gerbils running on a, or hamsters running out you know a wheel of, of figuring out what works um i do want to mention guys so the last thing i want to mention is i haven't i'm sorry about not doing a whole bunch of videos recently uh as you can see here i've been uh we're, we're learning django right now and uh so yeah i got a bunch of like test code going on here and some other stuff um, we're learning Django and Code Bootcamp. So as you guys know, if you've been following the channel, I'm going to Code Bootcamp right now so I can uh, eventually code in Web3 and become a Web3 developer. 
Uh, yeah, so we're learning Django, which is like a, it's like a back-end, I don't even know. Guys, that's a web framework for Python, that's all I'm going to tell you. Um, right now we're learning it, it's pretty interesting, I'm making a grocery list app right now. It's going to be able to uh, basically, you know, create grocery items, add them to a list, blah, 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 good stuff. So, yeah, so, uh, you know, Hedera, Django, uh, that's about my life right now, guys. After, pretty soon, I'm going to start learning the Hedera SDK stuff and JavaScript, but I'm kind of waiting for it to, like, go over JavaScript in our code boot camp. I haven't done it in a minute. Uh, I have done it before, but just, like, lightly. So I'm looking I'm looking forward to us getting into that. Right now we're just still in like Python Django mode. We just got done with like learning Flask and some HTML, so um yeah, hopefully hopefully it all happens. Um uh, but guys today's my birthday so I'm gonna cut out of here. Um I do wanna say thanks for supporting the channel. Um thanks for uh listening and uh go out there and make some money, get some Hedera. Um we know that uh no matter what, you know, in the end, Hedera HBAR price is going to go up. Um, the technology is just too good, guys. I, I don't under, really understand why people are, like, fronting the project. Or I've seen some people on Twitter, you know, you, you guys are crazy, bro. I, I don't know what you guys are thinking. So, all right, Dan DeFi out.